Good morning, good morning. This is as outside as this video is going to be today. Because it is gorgeous out right now. But right here before too long, I mean, you can see it's coming. Look at them clouds. It's coming today. Got a chance of bad hail. But by like 9 o'clock this morning, the wind's supposed to be blowing 30 miles plus out of the south, southwest, something like that. I ain't going fishing in that. So, come on, girls. Get out of here. Let's go. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Yeah, you're dumb. Oh, there you go. Come on. Let's go. Want some food? You want some food? Glut it up. I did not call you over here, kitty cat. All right. So, chickies are all doing good. <clears throat> yeah. It's supposed to be bad winds today. So we're going to do something different today. We're redoing my son's floor in his bedroom. We pulled the carpet out. I've got it on a trailer over here. But you, <coughs> we pulled the carpet out and the padding. We pulled about three quarters of the staples that, you know, hold that padding down. We pulled about three quarters of those out uh, yesterday afternoon. And we went fishing last night. Caught a like 15 little bitty five six inch crappie and that's about it but uh <clears throat> nothing to video we didn't video anything last night we just kind of went out there and spent a little time by the water anywho we uh there it is oh we um <clears throat> seen this my wife seen this thing on uh i don't know if it's youtube or pinterest or something where they uh, make these floors out of paper, brown paper. So <clears throat> we went, we done, we done my middle son, his room. We done it about a week, maybe two weeks ago. It's a pain in the butt, man. Cause when you don't have like the, a ton of storage and you're taking everything out of somebody's bedroom, there is stuff in the halls. There is stuff in other pe other kids' rooms. There's stuff in the living room, you know, until you get this floor done, then you can start moving it back in. So we got uh we got his room done he's been in it about a week and a half or so it, it's actually pretty cool the floor after you do it it looks like uh like a lead it almost looks leather but <clears throat> I, i'll, I'll kind of show you guys today we're, we're gonna pull the rest of the staples out and literally is all you do is you get some elmer's glue uh wood glue i think it is Hell, it might just be regular animals glue. And you mix a little bit of water with it to thin it down. You get a paint paintbrush. You go buy one of the big rolls of brown paper, construction paper, like from Lowe's. I, we got ours at Lowe's. Just that thick brown like packing paper. You tear it up in chunks, big, however big you want it. And you crumple it up like you're going to throw it away. And then you flatten it back out and you kind of smooth it out. And then you slap glue all over both sides of it and you lay it on your floor and you do it just you just start in a corner or so and you just start working your way just putting these big old chunks of glue down and after you get it done you let the floor dry for i think we let it dry for 12 hours or something we got finished we i don't know it might have been closer to 20 something hours because we did it one we did we pulled all the carpet we did everything in one day in his room the carpet the staples and then we glued it all and then the next day, or the next evening, you use a, a water-based polyurethane. And you just brush it over the top of it. Brush the whole floor. Let it dry for a couple hours. Brush it again. You put like five, six, seven coats of that down there. And it, and it makes a big, thick coating on top of that paper. And it's really durable. I mean, he rolls his little computer chair across it. The dogs are in and out of it. It doesn't show anywhere. There's no scratches. It's actually pretty cool. And I'll tell you what the coolest thing is, that roll of paper, one roll of paper, we bought three rolls of paper thinking that it was going to take a bunch. We used like a quarter of one roll. And then we used one of those big gallon jugs of Elmer's, or I think a half a, half of it, maybe three quarters. And then maybe three quarters of a bucket of uh, 
of the polyurethane, but you got to have the water-based polyurethane for a floor. And that whole thing, the whole floor, price-wise, was like 60 bucks. I mean, that's that's pretty cheap for a floor. You know what I'm saying? And it looks to me it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks like it looks le it looks leather. It feels like a hardwood floor or a la 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 what a la 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 that word is <clears throat> it looks like that it doesn't look like that but it feels like that but it looks leather it's really cool there's a lot of videos on youtube and and stuff because we'd watch some of them to make sure we was doing stuff right people are putting that stuff on their walls and all kinds of stuff it, it's pretty cool and it's cheap and it really doesn't take long you know i mean if you really sat down and did it take you however long it takes you to pull the carpet and the padding up get the staples out of it you know, if there's any rough spots, not not rough spots as in, um, like, a, um, well, like his, the floors in, in our house are part of, like, the three corner inch particle. You don't have to worry about the rough, like, rough, rough spots, but like in seams and stuff, if you get a real big gap, which we didn't have any, but if you did, you could just get some wood putty or wood filler smooth it out you don't really have to do anything because you're gluing this stuff over the top of it now there's if you got holes and stuff you know you want to patch the holes i'm just over here checking out the garden now and we got we got squashes we got squashes coming up for them guys this stuff here spinach which i really doubt we ever eat <laughs> I, don't, I told my daughter to get some vegetable stuff to plant in this thing, and she got spinach and she got lettuce. But there's a, I don't know if I can get that. I don't know if you guys see this little lettuce guys right there. There's a little lettuce guy right there. I got some sweet peppers here. I got green peppers and red peppers, but they haven't come up yet. And maybe they won't. I don't know. If we planted everything at the same time, everything but the peppers is coming up anyway back to the floor that's what we're doing today and i was saying if you got in there and got after it got your floor ripped out got got it you know got it prepped um laying the paper down and gluing it it really doesn't take very long when we started doing that one we would lay the paper out we would glue one side flip it over where you want it set it down and then you f just slop glue all over the other side not real thick but you want it you want it to get wet you know um you do the other side and we started doing that and it was kind of taking a little bit of time doing it that way so then i got the the glue and a brush and i was going on the floor and just big old patches of glue and then my wife was coming in behind me and she was laying paper down where she wanted the paper pieces because you just you just rip them you just rip chunks of paper they're no shape nothing you whatever you want to do you rip these chunks of paper and she was putting them down and then you put glue i'm sitting there bouncing my phone as i'm talking i'm a, I'm a hand talker um you put uh you put glue on the top of it too and it kind of seals everything in with that glue you let it dry for a while and then you come back and uh lay over the top of it with the polyurethane and it, you know, it puts that hard coating on top of the floor. And it's important, I think, to use the um, the, the water based. There's something we we read something that the if you get the oil based, that it does something to that paper. Like I don't know if it makes it, it'll still work, but it'll turn your paper like you'll have blotches of dark spots on your paper, which might look cool too. I don't know. We just didn't try it, but it'll leave big blotches like just different places. And then you, uh, they make like two different kinds. They have the for a floor and they have for a cabinet. And you want to get the, the floor because it's got something, it's got a different kind of stuff in it that is, uh, it's it's uh, more solid. <coughs> and you want that solid stuff. So <coughs> anyway, that's the uh, that's the plan today. I'm gonna sit out here. It's a little bit cool, but I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy this until the wind starts blowing. You know these stupid allergies. Allergies suck. I hate them. Um, but I sure ain't gonna go set set out somewhere in a thirty mile an hour southwest wind and uh, and die two or three times from allergies. 
<coughs> every morning. <coughs> every morning, my allergies get me every every morning. <coughs> but throughout the day, they'll clear up. When you got a 30 mile an hour wind, they ain't clearing up that day. <laughs> it's going to be Allegra, nasal fl flow nays, and all kinds of stuff all day long. But, oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't show you, which it needs to be swept out again, but we got the pool done. I mean, it's been done for a while. But I'll show you. I'll show you the before pictures because it's gross. If it, I think it's on another video, actually. But here's the afters, which I don't have the pump on. And it needs to be, you see that spot right there? You can see it right dead center. That, I think, is why we lost our tarp. We bought a, we bought a, uh, a, a like a big pillow that you blow up that floats on top of the water that you, you, you know, you lay your tarp over the top of the pool. And that big, I mean, this, that thing was like two and a half, three foot tall, that pillow was. And it's supposed to float around in the water, keep your tarp up and keep water from, you know, getting down in it and something. So we put this tarp on, we saran wrapped, they had this, this, uh, this stuff for pools, it's a, it's a saran wrap is all it is, a big, like, three-foot saran wrap. And we saran wrapped it really well, but that pillow, I think it had a leak in it or it popped or some, somehow that pillow sunk. But that spot is where that pillow sat all winter, and it left a stain. I power washed it, we scrubbed it, it just won't come up. I'm going to go ahead and turn this pump on, though. Oh, I'll set it on the timer for four hours. <coughs> Let it do its thing, you know. I'll just walk over here with my phone over the water. <coughs> I did that sitting here one day. My daughter was doing a cannonball. She was, she's just learning how to do cannonball. And she's, Dad, come watch me do this cannonball. So I go over there and I'm videoing, you know, I got my phone up over the top of the pool and she jumped in and a, a, just a single little drop of water hit me right in the eyeball and it made me flinch and I dropped my phone and it sunk to the bottom of that pool. And it was still on. She swam down there and picked it up and then she held it under the water. She's like, Dad, it still works. And as soon as she pulled it out of the water, it was gone. It made all kind of funky noises. Look at that. Sitting up there on the porch in a blanket. Watching the ducks. Probably actually watching the hummingbirds. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. We'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys. Here is the kind of before picture. Which we still got to get that desk out of here. And we got a few more staples to pull. But this is it. There's really nothing, that, there's one, I don't, I don't know what this hole's over here for. We must have, been, must have been gonna put something here at one time and I don't know what the heck, but I'll have to fill that in and just sand it down a little bit. But you can see it's just a plain floor. Um, these cracks, we're not gonna worry anything about these. What are you doing? You're a crazy dog, you're crazy, come here. Sit down, sit down. You're such a good puppy and I love you. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> but yeah, this is this is gonna be the this is gonna be the spot today. This is gonna be the video. No outside stuff today because the wind. This is gonna be this is gonna be it. And I'm not gonna record like the whole time because this it's gonna be boring, but um, we'll just uh, tur I'll turn the camera on. Uh, maybe I'll set up the big camera um, somewhere and we'll just do like a time lapse thing. I'm not sure how we'll do it yet, but yeah, this is gonna be the vid today. Um, putting putting this floor in. It's pretty cool. I think I think some of y'all like it. Some of you some of you won't. Some of you will. It's pretty cool. What's really cool about it is, it, is it's it's uh it, it makes a good solid nice looking floor for very little money. That's the best thing about it. The very little money part, you know. So. Anyway, um, we'll be in and out, and uh, we'll show you show you how how we're doing some of this stuff. And that that might be what we do is is I'll come in here and we'll show like an actual just regular video of 
the, like a, a few, the few fir first few pieces of it, and then, and then maybe a time lapse or something of the rest of it, or maybe we'll just do show you the start of it, bring you in about halfway through, and then show you the finish as far as putting the paper down, and then, and then bring you back and do uh, show you how we put the polyurethane down, and after that. Uh, the last the last part of the video will be the the complete finished product so anyway here's our outside video for today <laughs> all right we'll see you guys after a while all right folks we are fixing to get started we got all the rest of the stuff out of here used the shop back <clears throat> swept it up found a couple of staples you know that you're going to miss a couple nails and a couple of staples we got all that done found them with the end of the shop back got them pulled out and this is this is this is it this is what you got to have this is multi-purpose elmer's glue and this is just a bucket and i've got according to this thing one quart or is that a liter? Well, it says one quart on that side. One quart of water. Just plain tap water. And then you mix. And there is no science to this. You just dump this stuff in there. You start dumping it away. The glue's coming out super slow. Now I put a I put a liter of water in here. I'm gonna fill this up to a liter. I have no idea where my stir stick is. I left it somewhere. There's about a liter. Let that drip off. So anyway, I'll stir the glue up here in a second. I've got a chair to set in because uh, I'm fat and. Me walking around here on my knees is not happening. So, Elmer's glue, just a couple of big, big brushes, um, gloves, if you wanna wear gloves. I got the bucket, a liter of water, and this is just how much we start off with. That bucket will do, this little bit right here will do probably, well, if I was just gluing the floor, it would probably do the whole floor, but it'll do about um, half, it'll probably do about half the floor. And then this is the paper. It's just construction paper. And we already did one room off of this roll. And we've still got over the half of the roll left. So you just get in here and give it a good stirring. And literally is all that does. The water in there just thins it out. I don't know if a guy I use paint thinner for something like this or what but everybody else on all the other videos use water so we're using water and it worked pretty good on the last one so I'm gonna get this stirred up that's pretty good there see it's it's a lot runnier now and that's about right so I've got a hair hanging on me and I don't like it phone object okay and on the paper this is pretty simple I'm gonna show you this you just grab a piece of this paper I got this zoomed all the way out I do truth come here and get this phone and record this so you got the paper here and literally that's a perfect piece every single one of them you pull off is going to be a perfect piece there is nothing to it. The only part that you really want to, like these straight edges, this edge that's straight, this part will go. This is the part, the only, the only straight part you need to worry about is go on the edges, and that's because you can take that straight edge. After you put your glue on the floor, you glue up on, we'll glue all this down here, the floor, you lay your paper down, slide it up underneath that wall, and then just lay this out. Now, I think we're going to do this room straight with the paper straight. The other room, we do this. Kind of gives it 
a little bit of a textured look. And that's why I think it kind of looks kind of looks leathery. But then it's the same thing. You just glue that down. And when you get it down, you'll smooth it out. It'll have all them little wrinkles in it. It looks cool, and it does. It really looks like it looks like leather. But you can do it in any shape. Doesn't matter. Just tear pieces off. And once you get them laid up here, say this part. Get this up underneath that wall. Now I would I would do this after I put the glue on. And you just grab another piece. And you overlap them like that. I wouldn't keep that on either. You don't want a serious thing, but something like that's okay. Maybe you can tear that, that off. That's good for another side. Maybe you can put this one right here and then overlap that piece. Now on this piece, another straight one, you just overlap it with the other one you got, just a little ways. Slide this under. And then you glue, put glue on the floor, put your paper down, and then after you get that down, you lay this out, and you put glue over all of it. And then the next piece, you just overlap, and you keep doing that till you cover the whole floor. So when we actually get ready to do a couple, we'll start like right here in this corner, or we'll start in that corner, and we'll start going, and I'll, I'll turn the video back on to show you like the first four or five pieces. And after we get those done, I think I'm going to have Austin set the other camera up in the hall and maybe just record the whole time and we can kind of maybe do a time lapse, maybe, or we'll just, uh, I'll bring you in, like, like I say, when we first start and then we'll get half the floor done, I'll bring you back in and kind of show you where we're at and then we'll get the rest of the floor done, I'll bring you in here and show you how, how it looks after it's done and then we got to let it dry. We'll get the paper done tonight and the gluing and then tomorrow late afternoon we'll start putting the polyurethane on it or we won't my wife will because i don't like that stuff it stinks <laughs> and we all lived through the last one so i don't think it's toxic but we got a fan going we got a window we can open and uh in two days literally if you just got in here and done it two days you'd have a brand new floor that looks pretty cool and it's really cheap i don't even remember how much that roll of paper was like six or seven bucks I don't remember. It, it couldn't have been much more than $10 if it was anything. And then the glue, how much is glue? Four or five dollars probably. Um, and then the paint brushes, you know, four or five dollars. So the most expensive thing is the polyurethane, and it is expensive. I think them jugs, uh, one gallon jugs, if you get the good, if you get the right stuff, it's going to cost you for one gallon 50, 60, 70 bucks, wherever you, depending on where you get it at. Um, if you can find some cheaper than that, you buy all of it that you can buy and turn around and sell it. So anyway, we're going to get started. When we start, when we actually start, I'll bring you back on. When we get back uh, in the corner over there, we'll start four or five pieces. I'll show you how, exactly how we're doing it. And then I'll just bring you back, back in, I think, uh, kind of as we're going halfway through. And then again, kind of towards the end and show you the wind is starting to blow. It's an inside day. 30 mile an hour wind, it's not good. Anyway, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So I just kind of got a few little pieces that where I'm gonna start my corner. Can you see it? You gotta zoom in there good. All right, I just got these pieces laying here because that's how I wanna do my corner. Now, I'll pull these out. Get my little glue bucket. And slop some glue down here. Make sure you get it up underneath the wall. You get a good patch of it here. Get 
go there. Stick it up under there. Slide it down to the corner. Press it down. A little bit more glue. Make sure you get, like I said, get it up underneath that the best you can. Okay, now I've got kind of a little spot there. I'll just take a chunk, lay it over it, press it down a little bit. So, you can see that it really doesn't take very long. I already got the corner done. Now I'll just continue down this wall a little ways and then start working my way out towards the middle. And uh, just kind of go down both sides until you fill it in. And it looks, you know, how it's, you know, it's Elmer's glue, it's white. But when that dries, it'll be clear. It'll just be, <clears throat> it'll just look like paper. I mean, it, it, it literally looks, to me, it looks like leather when it's all put together. Um, but you'll see, like right there, you can kind of see there's wrinkles. Well, after this stuff dries, the, so, some of those wrinkles will be gone tomorrow. And then you'll put the polyurethane on it and go over it. And there about might be some more wrinkles, but within 
oh, three, three days to five, maybe six days, most, all, most, if not all, the wrinkles will be out. There won't be any wrinkles in it. I don't know how, if it just, I don't know how it does it. If that paper gets in there, you know, you're soaking it with the glue, it's getting wet, it's kind of wrinkling up, and then it dries and it straightens back out. I don't really know how it does it, but um, yeah, when you're done, um, it'll look like a big old, it'll, the whole floor will look like, to me, it looks leather. Just look at, like your floor is covered in leather. It's really cool looking. And there's different things. You know how you put, how I put that little piece there? I mean, that's how you do it. You'll, you'll get those little pieces, those little holes, you know, like if I put a piece here and it's going to leave another little hole right there, then you just throw a piece down. Well, when you're done and we thought about doing this, but we didn't, but like you could put, you could cut out, um, your kids initials or something like that and just lay them in the floor and glue them down. And they're not going to stand out, stand out, because everything's going to look like that. But then you'll have kind of a little Easter egg kind of thing where their initials are in the floor. You know, you can make them as big or as small as you want and just glue it down with the rest of the floor. It's pretty cool. I mean, it, it, you guys, I think some of you think it's pretty cool. Some of you like it. Some of you won't. But if you want to redo a floor and it be, you know, pretty easy on the pocketbook, this is a pretty easy way to do it. Like I say, the most expensive thing you're going to use is the polyurethane. But it'll take, you know, it'll take a couple hours. And it's creative. Yeah, yeah, and it's a, it's creative. It's something, it's pretty neat. I mean, I don't know who in the world thought of this. My wife found it on YouTube. She's like, hey, we should try that. Get rid of the, get rid of the, when we had our house built, we had um, wood floors everywhere, but I didn't want the wood floors in the bedrooms. I wanted carpet because people, you know, that have wood floors during the winter and crap, that floor gets cold. So I thought, well, at least in the bedrooms we can keep carpet, but I wish I wouldn't. You know, when you got dogs and stuff running around and kids that are spilling stuff constantly, we should have just did the whole house flo wood floors, but next time we will. But uh, this is an easy fix. You know, you can cut your own carpet out and haul it off and do this yourself and get you a roll. I mean, I just got this little computer chair. It's one of my kids's. You roll around on the floor and you're not beating your knees up. You just take your time, do do uh, do it at your own pace, and and before you know it, you know, like I say, in a couple, maybe two hours, because we're not gonna we're not busting butt in here, but you know, in a couple hours, you could have the whole floor done with the paper and glued, and then you got to let it dry. Like I say, I think I think they said like 24 hours, but I'm not sure um, if we waited that long when we did ours. Well, actually, we were longer, didn't we? Because we couldn't find that. We got the polyurethane, but we got the wrong stuff. We got a, we got oil based and didn't know it. But you got to, you're supposed to use a, a water base. So it took us a couple of days to go find some water based polyurethane that's made for floors, not cabinets. It's got to be made for floors. Made for floors, it's more durable. And uh, and you just put several coats of it on. Let it. You put it down. Let it dry. That's the time consuming part. Yeah, it takes. Uh, and it's not. It, don't, it literally only took her, she's the one who's doing, doing the polyurethane stuff, and it only took her 20, what, probably 20 minutes to do the whole floor, putting it on, because you just literally, I got a, I got one of those brushes, and I taped it onto a piece of PVC pipe about five foot long, so she don't have to bend over, dip it in there, paint the whole floor with it, took maybe 20 minutes, but then you gotta let it dry for about two hours, and then you go in with another coat, and the more coats that you put on there, the more durable it's going to be, the harder it's going to get. So I think that most of the places recommended what, like eight to ten, eight to ten coats. So I mean, if it's a high traffic area, you know, if you was doing a kitchen or a living room or something like this, you, hell, you could put twenty coats on there as far as that goes. But in a bedroom, there's not a whole, they're not, you know, they're not, it's not a it's not a high traffic area. Now these kids have got their computers and stuff in their rooms and. They'll be like, he'll have a computer desk over there and and uh, be rolling around on the floor. So we might put, you know, five or six more extra coats just in that spot. But throw you about eight or ten coats of polyurethane down, let it dry, and you've got literally a hard surfaced floor that looks cool and you did it yourself and it was cheap. So that should last at least five years if you do it right. Yeah, and uh, most most places are saying that, or you know, most of the videos, some of the up, people do the update videos. Most of it lasts before they have to repair. When I say repair, they're just coating it again. 
It's not like you're ripping it up and starting over. They just put more polyurethane on and it usually lasts about five to six years before they even have to start doing that. So, so, and if you want it to last longer than that, put more coats down. The more coats you have, the longer it's going to last. So we'll probably put eight or 10 coats in here and, and maybe over in that corner where he's going to be sitting at his computer most, you know, may, might put, you know, up to 15 or something over there. But anyway, that's the start. That's kind of how we do the, the, that. Next time I'll, next time I'll have you on, we'll have, we should have about half the room done. Um, I'll bring you back. And, and by that time, this stuff over here, see how it's white, that stuff will dry clear. You'll see that when I bring you back, most of it will start turning clear and it'll look all wrinkly and stuff. It looked cool, but remember, you got to remember those wrinkles will flatten out, you know, over time. So, but as simple as can be glue and a paintbrush and some paper, man, you got a floor. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, y'all. So we've been doing about probably about an hour and a half, but we stopped for well over 30 minutes and ate lunch. But this is it. You can see how it starts to dry. That white goes away. That edge is what I did first. And it's starting to clear up. But you can see how there's like a couple of different shades. Each piece of paper has got a little bit different color. And it does that too if you flip the paper over. But this is about, it's about half, maybe a little bit more than half done. We got, uh, I got some chairs in the way, but really and truly, it's just this little bit left right here where I'm standing at and then in front of the door. So we're probably really and truly about an hour left, maybe, maybe 45 minutes left to having the whole floor done. And then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow late afternoon sometime, this will, we'll leave the fan on, turn the fan on high in here all night. And uh, uh, tomorrow, late afternoon, we'll come in. It'll be, sh it, it should be about completely dry by then. And you can see how those wrinkles, see them big old wrinkles in it? Most, most of those wrinkles will be gone by tomorrow. There'll still be some, but you'll put the polyurethane on it and, you know, however many coats we do eight eight or ten coats or however many we're doing and then in three or four days uh, just pretty much all the wrinkles will be out of it i don't know how it does it but it does it so when you see those wrinkles like that you know don't uh, don't worry about it that's kind of a normal thing but yeah that's it for now um i'll be back in just a little bit next time i bring you back we'll be all the way to that door It'll be done. We'll be done with the paper. And uh, and then we'll wait until tomorrow and start the polyurethane stuff. So see you guys here in a little bit. All right, folks. All right, here it is. Except for that little spot right there. And I got to get some wood filler and fill that hole in. I thought I had some, but I didn't. So I got to run to town tomorrow and get some wood filler putty or something and put in there and get it all covered up but that is the finished glued finished part it'll all look it'll look a little different in the morning when it dries some more but by tomorrow late afternoon it'll look like a big uh it'll look like a big patch of leather and we'll start putting polyurethane on it so as of right now you can see how it starts clearing up once it starts drying good it'll start it'll start clearing up good and like I say, them wrinkles and stuff, you see a bunch of them will go away. There's some of those, some of them that were out there on that end that are already gone. Uh, they're completely gone. The paper is laid completely flat and it's uh, it's sealed itself good with the glue. Next step is tomorrow afternoon. We'll either do it tomorrow afternoon or um, what is tomorrow? It's Friday, I think. Um, or we'll start Saturday morning with the polyurethane. We might just do that. Just let it set all night and all day and another night and then start the polyurethane. Get a bunch more of them wrinkles out of there and then we'll start the polyurethane. And I might show, it, it doesn't really look any different when you put that on there. So I might show her putting um, like the first coat on 
and then after that it'll just be it'll be the finished product after it dries completely we'll come in here and do a walk around and kind of show you a, a little bit closer what it looks like but that's it and it really i mean it's as you can see it's dark now we stopped for supper and we watched a movie we just been kind of messing around come in here and do a little bit and go take a break and then go do a little bit and then take a break and but we got her whooped we got her whooped this is the the hard part's done and it's not hard at all really like i say if, if a guy just got in here and got after it you you could completely be done with a room this size and in an hour maybe an hour and a half tops and that's if you like i was ripping paper as i was going if you uh if you rip up a bunch of paper before where you got it got it ready to roll um it would take you even less than that i mean if you if you took 20 minutes of ripping paper it would take you 30 minutes to do this so that's it for now i might come in here in the morning and see what it looks like and if it if it looks like a you know drastically different than um with the, you know like these wrinkles and stuff all that stuff already gone and no you won't be able to see any of the, of the glue anywhere but as you can see i mean it, it does it looks kind of leathery it's it's already looking kind of leathery and it looks even more after you put the the poly down so it's pretty cool i mean it's creative something to do something cheap to do and still look good you know i mean there's people that do this on their walls you know they'll do like let's pick a single wall and do it i know that looks weird over there because we put some cleaner on the wall um she was trying to clean it so we would because we didn't she didn't want to paint because it's not really bad like the paint but there was you can see where his desk rubbed up against there it's just going to have to be painted sometime and that cleaner like took actually a layer of paint off I think that's why that that looks like a stain over there she cleaned it with something she'll either have to clean the entire wall or we'll just have to paint it but anyway I'll bring you guys back in tomorrow um, let this dry uh, dry out really really good and where we can walk on it right now if you walked across it the paper would literally stick maybe not over there on that side but if you walk through most of this the paper would just stick to your shoes and you'd peel it up so you gotta stay out of there for for a while. Let it get good and dry. So I gotta get this door shut so the doggies can't get in here and wreak havoc. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, this is the next morning. You can see most most of the wrinkles are out of it. There's a there's a few in a few places, but the majority of them are gone. There is something. Something got covered up right there, so that's gonna have to be that little spot there will be cut out, whatever's in there taken out, and then a new piece put over it. <sighs> Pretty simple um, to patch those little things. You can just cut that out and <clears throat> slap a new piece over the top of it. But I don't know. I'll put my foot in there, but it's a little bit tacky yet. I'd walk in there. I'll walk in there this afternoon just so you guys can see see the colors the color differences a little bit better but like right there you can see where you can actually see the individual pieces of paper or whatever you want to call it you know it uh that that kind of fades in over time too especially after you put that polyurethane on there It'll kind of all blend together. It'll just look like one big sheet that's got some different blotches of colors on it. It looks like, to me, it looks, like I said, I don't know how many times now, it looks like leather, but that's, uh, that's it the next morning. This afternoon, we'll walk in there and get a better look at it. I'll have to cut that little spot right there out and patch it, and then I gotta get some wood putty and fill that hole in and put a piece over it. I don't even know what that hole's from. I think when they were building the house, they messed up, because that hole was there. Don't know. Anyway, that's it next morning. So. All right, y'all. 
it's dry enough to get in here on and this is it see like these spots like that that one right there and there's a couple of these that there's a, something underneath there there's a couple of these that we will just take a razor knife and you cut those little humped places out and lay a new piece of paper down and glue it and get rid of it and there's just a few of them see most most all i mean you could see earlier there was some of this had a lot of wrinkles in it and <clears throat> according to the videos that we watched um after you after you put the polyurethane down and it dries uh the rest of these wrinkles will be gone but i don't see how you know there ain't nothing under there it's not glued to the floor or nothing so we just take a little just a little razor and cut these little humps out and and we'll just lay a new piece of paper down and new glue and there's just a couple of them but that's the floor i mean it's it's pretty solid i mean right now i think it looks pretty cool it, it to me it looks like leather but <clears throat> we'll get in here here in a little bit and that looks like there might be a a nail or something sticking up right there but we'll take these little spots out here in a little bit put new paper down just you know little patches new glue new paper and then tomorrow uh, tomorrow mid-morning some something like that we were going to try to maybe do it tonight but we've sat around and haven't done much anything today <coughs> and daggum wind is oh man that wind blows 30 miles an hour out of the south one day and 30 miles an hour out of the north the next so we went to town and done some stuff in town you know but come back out you got little places like that that you'll see little little skips here and there simple little piece of paper a little bit of glue you got it covered so that's what we'll do this evening is we'll cut these little pieces out put a little bit of glue down put some new paper down and uh tomorrow tomorrow sometime uh in the morning she'll get in here and, and start putting the polyurethane on it and we'll do several coats of it and uh it'll it'll have a little bit of a shine not bad um it'll have a little bit of a shine to it and you can get that stuff that has you know dyes and colors and sort of stains whatever you want to call it in there but uh we just get the clear and keep the keep the color of the, of the paper because it looks pretty cool i mean it really does <clears throat> but yeah it'll have a little bit of a shine to it but it'll build a coat up on it it'll be real smooth you won't be able to feel any of the little edges which you can't like that right there you can't feel that edge right there you can't feel the edge of the paper but uh putting those coats of polyurethane on it just build it up like a like a clear coat is all it is it'll build it up and uh and make it last for several years and it's if, if something was to happen you know him rolling around on a computer chair and tear a hole or something literally is all you do is get some brown paper and some glue and put it down and then throw some new polyurethane on it and you're good the people that we watched on this i think i t said it earlier that their floors they're going on four or five years of having those having those floors and not even having any repairs so it's a, it's pretty durable. I mean, I can't say that um, for us yet, but as of watching other people, it seems like it's really durable. I mean, four or five years on a floor that cost you 60 bucks, you know, something like that. That's pretty daggum good. Especially when, if something happened, you literally just drop a piece of paper and some glue on it and you you know you fix it. it looks exactly the same but this is what i was talking about like you can like right here i could have put you know my son's initials or something just in the same paper down there somewhere and you know it'd have been part of the floor it, it, just something kind of unique we didn't do it he didn't want it so but it's just a cool idea i mean you could do that you could spell somebody you know your kid's full name out on this floor or, you know, write it somewhere, 
cut little little letters out and, and put them against a wall or somewhere and, and make it kind of a little Easter egg type of thing. But anyway, that's kind of the plan right now. We're gonna get these little wrinkles cut out and this over here that look like, that's real that there's two of them side by side that we didn't catch. But we'll get those knocked out. And I got my little hole over here filled. I let it dry and uh, do a little sanding on it and throw some paper over it and uh, we'll be done. There's the girls. I don't know where the baby, oh there's the babies are over there. Look at them little cuties. Out there eating them bugs. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess we'll probably see you uh, I guess we'll probably see you guys uh, in the morning sometime. Um, well, it'll be late morning because I'm going, uh, me and my cousin are going to go to Lake Elmer in the morning and try to catch some catfish. And I'm going to catch bait while we're there. And then tomorrow evening, I'm going to the river and uh, going to try for some cats down there and maybe some flatheads. So that's the plan for me tomorrow. But sometime through the day, I'll get in here and and uh, get some video of after the polyurethane gets put down and we get these get these few little wrinkles knocked out make it all look nice but that's it for right now it's pretty cool it's pretty cheap and it's easy elmer's glue a brush and some paper but we'll see you guys here after a while all right folks this is the finished product it's got i think eight coats and it's still drying a little bit. And I told you that we were gonna cut out these wrinkles and stuff, but we did that on the last one. And all the videos we watched said, don't do that. You don't know, no reason to do that. Give it a week after a week, the wrinkles will be gone. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna let this stuff set um, probably the rest of today and then start moving uh, cold and stuff back in his bed and all that stuff in here tomorrow. But, this is the finished this is the finished deal i know it looks ugly with them wrinkles but they're supposed to go out it's supposed to look like this side over here you know i wonder if i can get it better get some distance on it here you really can't see it very good <clears throat> i wish i could get it to where it showed the colors really well but i mean I think it's cool looking. It's unique, it's different, it's creative. And it's cheap. But I think that it's gonna be all right. Hopefully this stuff, where these wrinkles are and stuff, there's not gonna be really any furniture. Um, so in a week, if those wrinkles are still there, we'll just, we'll just hack them out of there and and patch them but it's pretty cool i mean it's a it's it's a solid floor so and it's supposed to last you know some of those people like i say they it's supposed to last like up to five years before you really have to start doing any kind of show before it starts showing anywhere really and you can see over here i don't know if you guys can see it there's a little bit of a milky look still so it's still drying a little bit she just put her final coat on it not too long ago but anyway folks i hope you enjoyed this video it's, it's it's different i mean it has nothing to do with the outdoors but when it's uh 30 mile an hour wind outside i'm not doing much outside anyway so but it was something to do and it was pretty cool maybe give somebody an idea there's people that do this on wall you know not like every wall but they'll do one wall with this stuff and it just makes it unique you know it's it's pretty cool so um i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know Give me that thumbs up. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell icon so you can get the notifications. And uh, we'll see if we can get you guys some more different videos. Uh, it's Mother's Day today. And I think the weather's supposed to be kind of junky all week. Not really bad, bad, but there's like a chance of rain every single day. But I'm going to get out as much as I can. We tried to go to the river last night. We got down. We went caught. We went and caught some bait at Elmer's and was going to the river going to see if we could catch some catfish and flathead. But we got down there and there was literally like, I think it was eight people. 
I mean, this spot's not very wide or very long where, where there's actual pretty decent fishing at, and it was just almost elbow to elbow with people. So we ended up just coming back out to the house and going out to the pond, and and uh, I missed I missed one fish, and that's all we had. They had that cold front come through, and I think it just pushed them off. But anyway, guys, that's uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, I, I hope you kind of like, I, I don't really like what we're seeing so far, but like I say, I'm not going to waste those videos we shot. It's a learning process. Each video we're doing is getting a little bit better. So hopefully you guys stick around and we'll get some stuff that you guys like and, and, uh, help this thing grow. Uh, until next time, God bless and love you guys.